ice and rain control systems. 1. Prior to installation of a pneumatic surface bond to type de-icer boots on the leading edge of the wing, you should remove all paint from the area to be covered by the de-icer boot. 2. What is one check for proper operation of a pitot static tube heater after replacement? Ammeter reading. 3. Some aircraft are protected against airframe icing by heating the leading edges of the airfoils and intake ducts. When is this type of anti-ice system usually operated during flight? Whenever icing conditions are first encountered or expected to occur. 4. What method is usually employed to control the temperature of an anti-icing system using surface combustion heaters? Thermocycling switches. 5. Why should a chemical rain repellent not be used on a dry windshield? It will restrict visibility. 6. Which of the following indications occur during a normal operational check of a pneumatic de-icer system? Fluctuating readings on the pressure gauge and relatively steady readings on the vacuum gauge. 7. What is the purpose of the distributor valve in a de-icing system utilizing de-icer boots? To sequence the de-icer boots inflation symmetrically. 8. What should be used to melt the ice in a turbine engine if the compressor is immobile because of ice? Anti-icing fluid. 9. What is the purpose of the oil separator in the pneumatic de-icing system? To protect the de-icer boots from oil deterioration. 10. How do de-icer boots help remove ice accumulations? By breaking up ice formations. 11. What icing condition may occur when there is no visible moisture present? Carburetor ice. 12. What is used as a temperature sensing element in an electrically heated windshield? Thermistor. 13. Which of the following are found in a laminated integral electrically heated windshield system? 1. Auto transformer. 2. Heat control relay. 3. Heat control toggle switch. 5. Indicating light. 2, 3, 4, 5. 14. Carburetor icing may be eliminated by which of the following methods? Alcohol spray and heated induction air. 15. Arcing in an electrically heated windshield panel usually indicates a breakdown in the conductive coating. 16. Which of the following regulates the vacuum of the air pump to hold the de-icing boots deflated when the pneumatic de-icing system is off? Suction relief valve. 17. What may be used to clean de-icer boots? Soap and water. 18. What are three methods of anti-icing aircraft windshields? 1. Blanket-type heating system. 2. An electric heating element in the windshield. 6. Ribbon type heating system. 1, 2, 6. 19. Why are the tubes in de-icer boots alternately inflated? Alternate inflation of de-icer boot tubes keeps disturbance of the airflow to a minimum. 20. Which of the following connects vacuum to the de-icer boots when the system is not in operation to hold the boots tightly against the leading edges in flight? Distributor valve. 21. Two possible sources of heat for the operation of a wing thermal anti-icing system are Compressor bleed air and aircraft electrical system. 22. What is the source of pressure for inflating de-icer boots on a reciprocating engine aircraft? Vane type pump. 23. Which of the following is the best means to use when removing wet snow from an aircraft? A brush or a squeegee. 24. What maintains normal windshield temperature control in an electrically heated windshield system? Thermistors. 25. What is the principal characteristic of a windshield pneumatic rain removal system? 
An air blast forms a barrier that prevents raindrops from striking the windshield surface. 26. What mixture may be used as a de-icing fluid to remove frost from an aircraft surface? Ethylene glycol and isopropyl alcohol. 27. Where are the heat sensors located on most aircraft with electrically heated windshields? Embedded in the glass. 28. What controls the inflation sequence in a pneumatic de-icer boot system? Distributor valve. 